YouTube, I'm mad. IGN shows some new gameplay of the Suicide Squad kills the Justice League, and the first thing we see is Harley Quinn get some ass. It should have been me, goddammit. Me, not him. Y'all gotta excuse me. I woke up and decided to hate everything this morning. Starting with this so-called story that's supposed to be good. Now, IGN and many other content creators seem to think that this story mode or whatever is supposed to be pretty good in comparison to the gameplay. But how is that true when they did this? Good God. They could have at least made her adorable. And I don't mean no weird ways, so don't get it twisted. I just think most gamers would have accepted this better if they actually did try to make her more adorable and not looking like she's about to kill me for pulling out my weeds. Seriously, this looks scary. I don't know whose wound this came out of, but put it back. Now, other than that, and some questionable things the heroes did in the story, I don't see anything wrong with it. Apparently, this is still the Arkham Knight world, which apparently means this is all canon. And this is basically what IGN had to say about that. There will be a time reversal mechanic or some alternate Earth timeline that comes along and washes away all of the terrible awfulness that happens during the story. Well, if that's the case, that's very convenient. Now, as far as gameplay goes, the gameplay looks clean, but that's not saying much considering that it reminds me of Fortnite. Now, I don't mind the characters using guns, I just think it should be optional. The team is single-handedly responsible for making some of the best combat I have ever experienced. Now see right here, this is the biggest issue I have with this game. Rock City has literally gave us gold before. Till this day, I could pick up Arkham Knight and the gameplay would still feel smooth and awesome. Like there's no complaints for me at all from that game except for maybe the Riddler parts. But this game doesn't seem to take inspiration from any of this. They just seem to give all the characters fancy guns and swarms of enemies. Which, by the way, no, I have not played this game yet. But from what I've heard from other gamers who have played this game, the combat seems very annoying and repetitive. And that's saying a lot considering that Arkham Knight's gameplay was like this. It doesn't matter how many times you did that in Arkham Knight, it never got boring and it never got repetitive. Now this game obviously isn't Arkham Knight, but I think everyone who was a fan of that game had very high expectations for this one considering that it was made by the same studio. And then opening up YouTube or TikTok and realizing that the gameplay is more like Fortnite or Destiny or Marvel's Avengers than it is like Arkham Knight, that is extremely disappointing. And to be completely honest, the only character that should really be using a gun is Deadshot. Now why is that? I don't know, maybe because he can't miss? Well the only time he ever really misses is when he's fighting Batman. But I digress with that issue, it's a game. They have to nerf the characters somehow. While we have this provided boss fight footage against the Flash to reference, I just want to mention that I found this fight incredibly annoying. There's no indication of where the Flash is most times, and he's the Scarlet Speedster, so he's just constantly zipping around the map. That didn't make the fight hard, it just made it frustrating. I honestly think that's just a matter of opinion. I mean, to each their own. I personally love challenging boss fights, so it made me have to use my head a little bit in order to beat the boss. Plus, he's a Flash. I mean, what do they expect? You really shouldn't be able to hit him with a bullet at all, but, you know, game logic. In fact, the fact that they actually let you win this fight is amazing in itself. At least the Riddler puzzles are making a return from no! the fucking games and bringing at least Fuck! one familiar Why? fun activity. Okay, pause. Hold up. I don't know about y'all, but the Riddler puzzles from the Arkham Knight games were some of the most annoying pieces of that game to begin with. I, I just, I can't imagine why someone would add that back into this game. They were unnecessarily hard and annoying. Why is he even in this game? I mean, what they expect? The player just get bored of the combat and want to solve a riddle all of a sudden? I guarantee you no one wants to do that. If we look back at that provided Flash gameplay, it looks like the player has a good grasp at movement, but it all comes back to similar core mechanics. Aim gun, shoot gun, and those core mechanics in a game like Destiny really save it. Here, it just feels samey across the board, even with each character's abilities sprinkled in. I didn't really get time to look at my gear stats and throw something together to try out, but I did try a build recommendation from Jack Hackett, production manager at Rocksteady, but again, I didn't really have enough time to get used to how it's supposed to flow together. Depending on how the builds work may actually save this game. But honestly, it just depends on how creative you can be with your build making. To give you a taste of what you'll be looking at in terms of complexity, there are weapon afflictions that attach an elemental effect to weapons like Deep Freeze that does cold damage for a period of time. Penguin will let you craft new weapons, shield mods, traversal mods, or grenades. And there are some interesting guns here, like Bugs a Poppin. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you right here. I don't give a damn about the guns. What I wanna know is where are the unique skins? Especially for Harley Quinn. If I find out this game has skins and it has this specific Harley Quinn outfit, I may have to cave in. That $69.99 plus tax may actually mysteriously fly in my pocket. 
Call me down bad if you want, but God damn! I know I've been really hard on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League in this preview, and believe me, I really want to be wrong about it. Not only is Rocksteady one of my favorite developers, but this genre is one I've spent far too much time in across Destiny, Anthem, and yes, even Marvel's Avengers. But while there is a story here that makes me wonder where the heck it's all going, I left the preview even less optimistic than when I came in. And see, that's another thing that worries me. Some people don't like IGN or feel like they get bad reviews. I personally respect their opinion as I would any gamer's opinion about the game. If the content creators who actually had a chance to play this game feel let down after playing it, I feel like that's a good sign that most people will feel the same way when they start playing it. And just to be clear, IGN is not the only people that feel this way about this game. Apparently many other content creators have played this game and the same thing has been said by most of them, if not all of them. And that's that they're pretty disappointed with it. But their opinion isn't all that matters. The gaming community's opinion as a whole is what matters the most. So is this game gonna be worth $69.99 plus tax? Me personally, I still don't know. But let me know what you think about the game and let me know if any of you are really planning on buying this. Now the game comes out February 2nd, 2024 and that's right around the corner. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe and you guys have a great day. Peace.